What is up guys? It is Styx here and today I'm going to be doing this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now, good news for everyone. Petrovenge is actually located right at the transmat point, so to know whether you're in the correct zone or not, if she is standing directly in front of you, you are. Feel free to go ahead over to her, speak to her about anything you might need, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I post these videos once a week, and then other videos pretty sporadically. Do make sure you grab your tincture of queen's foil from her, that way you don't have to come back here for it later. And then also grab your Ascendant Challenge bounty. Now once you've spoken with Petra, feel free to hop on your Sparrow while you're at the Devalian Mists transmat point, and then follow me along for the current Ascendant Challenge, which is located, I believe, in the Spine of Carries. If you already know how to get there, go ahead. Otherwise, follow. You can Sparrow across this area. I don't because I'm dumb and I die, so. To beware, you do start loading there, so that might be a little bit awkward. As you can see from what just happened there. You can go ahead and skirt past all of these taken mobs here. Once you get to this bridge, uh, I'm actually going to get into one thing first. I'm going to be using Dune Marchers for this. Ignore my 110 resilience. Your chest piece for your damage resistance, or if you are having trouble by dying repeatedly, I highly recommend running Concussive Dampener and either Melee Damage Resist or Sniper Damage Resist, depending on what you're having the most trouble with. There's also Top Tree Bubble Titan, which has a melee that gives you health and overshield. Now, you want to drink your tincture, that way you have the Ascendance buff, and you can sort of see the twinkling of these illusory rocks ahead of you. This skips a major part of just walking around in this area. Now, if you're not moving around as quickly as me, I do believe Dune Marchers give you like a sprint boost. So I am going to be moving slightly faster. But don't worry about that too much. If you are having trouble with parkour, because that's what's coming up, uh, I do recommend Lion Rampant on a Titan, Stompies on a Hunter, along with Triple Jump, or uh, Top True Dawn Blade on a Warlock, Transverse of Steps. Once you get in here, it is the Shattered Ruins for this week. You're going to want to follow the lights and some floating platform rocks. There are two versions of this Ascendant Challenge, one of which is the one I am in, where there are a bunch of orbs on your path, and they're going to explode a couple seconds after you walk next to them. These can do a pretty good amount of damage because they're in close proximity to each other, so you're likely to get hit by a lot of them. There's also hobgoblins in here that they are accompanied by. I believe the other version has vandals, and the other version is a phalanx shield wall sort of deal where it'll constantly be trying to push you off. Do you remember if you die in the Ascendant Challenge? you get thrown all the way out of it, and you have to restart, so do try not to do that. At this portion, any automatic weapon works, I just mow down those Shadow Thrall from that platform down there, that way they don't get in the way. And then I run around the edge of this boss arena, that way I can destroy all of these orbs before he even has a chance to do any of his actual mechanics. Now do keep in mind, if you run Curse of the Falling Star, that Thunder Crash will one-tap him. So very easy way to just kill the boss if you're having trouble. Now, once the boss is dead, you have technically finished the Ascendant Challenge. If that's all you came here for, then feel free to grab your loot and go. If you have come for the eggs and the bones, 
still grab your loot, but you're going to want to look directly above the Taken Ascendant portal for your first egg. So let me position myself here, look right at the portal and look directly up. You see that little white big glint there? That is one of the eggs. Trigger that boy. Now I'm walking around the edge here and I'm looking for the egg. It's over the edge of any part of these. It's always in the same spot, but I always forget where it is, which is my bad. But realistically, you can just look over the edge of all of these and eventually you'll end up finding it because it's really obvious and right in front of you. I believe you can also do this from below when you like first come in or something, but it's just annoying to do that. So uh, either way, now that I've found it, it is in position with these two rocks, 90 degree to the right, and it's right over the edge of that part of the platform. A tiger to fight, nice. Alrighty, so that is both of the Ascendant Eggs, so if you've only come for the Ascendant Eggs, you are also done. Thank you for watching. But, if you've come for the Bones, or Toland, I'll also go over him. Uh, you Normally you won't get Triumphs, really, unless it's your last ones, in which case you will. But, getting into business, you're going to want to come over to the edge here, jump on down, you're going to want to follow me over to this rock, and then the head of this statue. Jump onto the orb it is holding. And then jump onto this little nook here. As you can see, the bones are right there. Beware, if you are in the Taken version of this, or not Taken, the Phalanx version of this, there might be a uh, shield there trying to bash you off. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stand here looking for Toland. I think I spotted him. Yeah, he's on this disc over here. He can be anywhere, so I just recommend, like, you saw where I was standing. Just stand in a spot that is, uh, has good line of sight to everywhere in the room. Then you can listen to him rambling. And, uh, if you enjoyed this video, do feel free to like, comment, etc. And... Thanks for watching.